know who did that. <laughs> what does it say on your car? Uh, it says penis, uh, exclamation point, smiley face with the toe. Yeah. So. You know, home is where you make it, and uh, this is kind of our home now. Okay. What is mapless? What is mapless? Um, well, it's the first real band I've ever been in in years. Mapless is just about having fun. That's basically all there is to it. Just having fun and letting other people join in on the fun, basically. Mapless is currently a band. We'll see what it evolves into from here. Mapless to me, um, it is um, what well, band I play in. What do you play? I play guitar and I sing. I play the drums. And I get drunk too, so it's kind of dual role. I am the bass player. Um, not really a bassist. I play guitar. I just play guitar in the band. I'm normally a bass player at heart. I've been playing that for, oh god, 10 years maybe? I started playing bass once we started Mapless. Been trying to progress as a bassist. I think I, I'm starting to hold my own. I jump around on stage. I don't sing unless people want to hear crooning, which I don't think people care for. It's been hard because I'm not used to the rock style vocals. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to add some screaming so I don't screams that don't sound like too silly. So we're sitting in the studio and somebody was asking, who the hell comes up with that name, Mapless? Mapless got its name via Lucas, the drummer. I was uh, listening to this band Maps Analysis when I uh, at my old job, and uh, I just like condensed Map and Atlas together. Map, Maps and Atlas, Mapless, and that's pretty much it. Kind of boring story, but whatever. And it just became Mapless, and it just like changed the, the, the way it's spelled. We kind of settled on that name because we couldn't find anything else that was original and like cool enough that we thought would fit us. But Mapless ended up fitting us really well. It kind of explains what we're trying to do and where we kind of are. Because right now we're all kind of Mapless and have no really direction or purpose of what we're trying to do. So I'm about to take down all the MySpace stuff off of the Mapless MySpace. Start freshening it up a little bit, put all some of the new stuff up, let people know we're back in town. So I'm about to do that right now. What is the history of Mapless? It officially started in James's room last year, which was September 08. And the founding members initially were Chio DeCanto, Lucas Hubal, me, and Dan Wilson. It had originally started as Dan's project, and he was pretty much just trying to find musicians to play his, like, already written songs. Last year we played at least 20 shows as, as Mapless before we broke apart. It's like, I knew there was, like, tension between everybody and Dan, because Dan had his own ideas. He had his own mindset to what he liked, and he didn't really incorporate anybody else into it. Probably around May of 2009, Dan told us he wasn't going to be attending school here anymore, and he was going to pursue a career playing music. He had this band lined up where they were going to get a contract and just start touring, but it didn't really happen. It never happened. We like took some time off, and now we're just um, we have Joe Villa playing guitar for us now, which is really cool at their last show, Gianni's. Pretty much, we were all just talking backstage, and it's like, I said, hey, well, how about I just join Mathless, and everybody was just like, yeah. And I was like, wait, really? Are you serious? Even so, like, that's like, it's gonna like, have a chiller sound, because that's dipping, like, I can't explain it. 
Well, I don't know what you're trying to say exactly. I... Me and James have totally different writing styles. I know this. I knew this from the get-go. Well, the thing is, I don't know what to do if I do that part, because then that just totally changes what I had in mind. You know, it, it, it also changes the mood. You don't hear the, the mood of the song. So yeah, like, I think like, it fits it. We have different writing styles. and just adds a new dimension to the band, kind of. We're seeing this, like, totally different music. With James is trying to cre create the correct chord structure, but, like, like, Joe, you're just trying to put piece together chords to sound cool. Keep our, each other entertained. We keep each other in line, which is nice. Or we just pick on James. <laughs> <laughs> How did practice go today? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was, it was good. I mean, we got good, we got good. We like, got shit done. We got shit done. We got something finished, but, like, you know, nothing can go as, like, as planned. I mean, we still got a lot of work to do and everything. But. Yeah. This next song. How did you meet Gia? I don't really remember. I think I probably met him mostly due to the fact that he was playing shows around campus for his solo acoustic act. I thought Gia was like a really strange looking kid and he thought the same of me. He thought I was really awkward, which I am, but you know. We started hanging out after shows and talking a bit. And, you know, we were both into music, so we started talking about that. So he did his solo work. I kind of met through that, we just started talking, and we had uh, music classes together. That's kind of how we met. Joe actually kind of knew from freshman year a little more. Actually, probably the, he's probably the first one I met out of the band. People confuse us all the time for each other. This is why you're asking that question, huh? <laughs> uh, Joe actually I met my first semester here. We, used to, we took uh, Japanese together. Stuck through two years of Japanese hell. And we were also in the same math class, so I've known him as long as I've been here. Lucas was kind of a mystery and really just an acquaintance for a long period of time. We had a lot of classes together, so we would hang out there and afterwards and eat together a lot and stuff. And once we started playing, we're obviously around each other a bunch, so yeah, we're all pretty tight friends now. Like T minus an hour or so. I don't even know. Yeah, right. Oh, we made it here, by the way. <laughs> so I'm finally putting gas in my truck to uh, get to the show. Uh, and you can smell the fumes coming out right now because it was so on empty. Quarters I found in my glove box. Let's go. Two hours to show time. How are you feeling about tomorrow's show? Tomorrow I'm feeling pretty good about. We're pretty solid for the most part. Um, songs obviously aren't polished yet. A few of them are. Some of them still need a little bit of smoothing out. I'm writing out lyrics to the first song we're going to be playing tonight, and we've never done it before with lyrics. I have the lyrics written. We haven't even practiced it. I'm just going to bring them. I'm going to sing and see how it sounds. And I just wrote this like two days ago, so I'm practicing, and I'm going to have this on stage so I can cheat. While we're playing the song, that kind of like keeps the the like edge to your show. You know, when you do stuff like that, like stuff on the spot, it never gets stale if you just keep on mildly rewriting your songs as you go. Dude, I told him I'm gonna get tootsie rolls right now. I'm gonna go buy some. He thought I was really awkward, which I am, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Screw that, we're mapless.
train wreck. That was the worst show I ever played in my life. Well, whatever. That was a rough show. Went rocky, to say the least, but, you know, we pulled it together. We didn't completely bomb. We all ended the song at the same time, which is cool. Uh, we couldn't hear each other at all on stage, which makes it really hard to play. I couldn't hear myself by myself, which is bad. You can't hear any of our rhythm parts. He said my amp by itself was too overpowering over the house system, which I don't really get, because this speaker... So that was pretty rough. I broke my glasses. All around pretty awful. The show went okay. Not as best as I hoped. I'll take it as a learning experience, because it wasn't the greatest of shows, but it's an understatement, by the way. Just let's just know that we need to work on stuff and hopefully we have a show this Friday hopefully, hopefully we'll be ready for that and um, it'll be a lot more solid and we'll enjoy it a lot more and not be so frustrated um, no, I'm pretty stoked to see where Mapless goes and what becomes of us uh, hopefully a lot of good new things coming out this year and we actually start getting things committed to tape and uh, start playing a lot bigger shows and for bigger crowds and hopefully everybody just becomes aware of Mapless and what we are. So. I can't play guitar at all, but I try really hard. Jack and Box Taco. There's no real meat in here. <laughs> Which is actually soy meat. Blast me? I don't care. It's pretty fucking good. Ow! Geo. Geo. It's funny because nobody really knows this, but Geo actually never played bass. He actually played to a track. He would just kind of. He would air a guitar in it. Oh, man. It gets dirty. It gets dirty really fast. Like, I don't think, it, I think you'd have to censor this dude. <laughs> <laughs> James Meter, you know, it's funny enough, that's actually a child's guitar that doesn't have strings. So any time you saw footage or if you saw them playing live, he actually didn't have strings on his guitar. Is it? Anything else you want to say? Um, stay in stool, school, ah. <laughs> yeah. Stay in school, kids, and that's about it. <laughs>